Another environmental parameter to consider is re-radiated heat. On a cloudless sunny day, cows will seek shade. The dairy barn provides shade, but the re-radiated heat off the roof surface is hard to avoid. On that hot sunny day, the roof surface can be heated to well above air temperature. The hot metal re-radiates energy onto the animals, which is stressful for them. The principle of re-radiated energy from the roof surface can be explained in the kitchen. These two teapots represent opposite ends of the spectrum of emissivity, which is a measure of how much energy is radiated off a particular material. The very dark teapot has a very high rate of radiation, and the shiny teapot has a low rate of radiation. These are both filled with 100 degrees boiling water. By placing your hand near the black teapot, you can feel the heat radiating off it. Placing your hand near the silver teapot, and you can't feel the heat. That's because a shiny surface or a silver surface has a very low rate of heat radiation. So the material that you choose for the roof has a big impact on how much radiation comes off it onto the animals. Any material that has a surface that is less shiny, closer to the matte black, will have a high rate of energy radiation and that will have a bigger impact on the stress the animals feel, especially when the roof heats up, like on a day like today, to a very high temperature. So we've demonstrated the effect of re-radiated energy using the teapots. This is an infrared thermometer that allows me to measure surface temperature. I can show the surface of the concrete here is 17 degrees, but pointing it at the roof shows me that this roof is sitting at about 38 degrees centigrade. That's an indication of the, the energy that will be radiated off this hot roof, even on a reasonably comfortable temperature day inside the building. You can feel for yourself the radiation coming off a roof surface with your hand. This is the same sensation that the animals will feel. Holding your hand up with your palm up, you can feel the heat on the surface of your palm. Rolling your hand over, you can now feel the heat on the top of your hand. Because the air temperature is the same, the difference in the temperature or the heat you can detect is the heat coming off the roof. Re-radiated heat from the roof surface can be reduced during the design process through careful consideration of colour and surface finish. Remembering our teapot example, having a light coloured finish or a very shiny surface can reduce the amount of re-radiated energy. Where planning rules allow, the external roof surface can also be made a very light colour or use a shiny finish to keep the roof from absorbing energy and reaching a very high temperature. Mm -hmm.